What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where we're back on the K-10 again. Doing a lot of different things in today's video. First thing I'm going to be jumping into though is the stereo. So I'm putting an aftermarket single bin into this bezel in the stock location. So you have to cut out the hole for it. And the way they are from factory, they have this really big center hole and it's almost, it's, it's kind of too big to just put this in here and you can kind of just see where it should have a factory radio. So I quickly whipped up these pieces out of styrene. This one sits on the top, that one sits on the bottom. Now when this slides in here, it looks something like this and then the trim ring goes on the deck once it's in and then it looks something like that. So that looks a lot cleaner, just a quick simple thing I could do kind of clean it up a little bit. So as you can see, I have the dash bezel just kind of temporarily bolted in here on the bottom fasteners. Just kind of making sure the deck will fit, that kind of thing. Got this all trimmed out so that the sleeve will slide in for the deck. I have my RCAs ran to the back, remote wire ran. These are the speaker wires. And then my power and ground are actually up here. I need to lengthen them, bring them down to here. And then I need to wire this plug on for the deck. So that's going to be the first step. Awesome, so that works. Um, RCA's will just go into there and then I'll have to get probably an antenna adapter when I do get the antenna mounted on the fender. But for now, it's working. So here's how it uh, turned out once these pieces are painted and glued in. This, is, this isn't uh, permanently mounted, so it's just kind of pushed out. And once you have this trim ring on here, so it's something like that. And then it totally hides the gap that was there and then the gap that was underneath just kind of cleans it up quite a bit. So I'm going to have to build a bracket to hold the back of the deck just because the only thing mounting it right now is this piece of plastic and I don't want the weight of the deck to only be hanging off of this plastic. So I'll build a bracket that goes to the bottom of the deck and then gets secured to one of these holes down here. So most decks, they have some sort of hole like this or a stud or something along those lines that you can use essentially make a bracket to hold the back of the deck up so it's not just hanging off of the faceplate. This one didn't actually have it which is weird so what I did I drilled this out took a tap I tapped it so I can put a quarter inch bolt in there and then I'll probably end up modifying this bracket or making something else just to hold the back of the deck up. So next thing I'm gonna do is make or modify that bracket and figure out a way to support the deck from somewhere down there up to where the deck is. This bracket ended up being a little too short and it's a little thinner material. So I ended up cutting a piece. Now this is way overkill. This is a lot thicker than I was intending on doing it, but this is just what I had. So I made it a little bit longer 
Still got the notch in the top, horrible cut job, but it works. And then the hole in the bottom goes into one of these holes under here, just sits in there and it works really well. There's no flex at all because this is very strong and a little bit overkill, like I said, but should work perfectly. So I'm gonna throw a quick coat of paint on that. And then the deck is pretty much all figured out and then it won't be going in for good until I have the whole dash set up because my metal sleeve gets mounted into this bezel and this bezel doesn't get mounted until I have gauges and vents and dash pad and that kind of thing. So that's gonna be it for the deck things. So I was going to be done with the speakers and the radio, but this just came in from Amazon. A set of four inch speakers, pioneer speakers that are gonna go up here in the corner in this hole. So I'm gonna quickly get those mounted up and then get the plug wired onto here. So I can at least have the two front speakers hooked up and I can actually test my wiring on my deck and make sure everything's working. So that is the plan. Two speakers are in, mounted, and wired. So what I want to do now is just test, make sure they're working. Key on, and deck comes on. Source, go to auxiliary. And then... I hear music. Too. Perfect. That's actually not bad for a little four inch. That's actually kind of impressive. Not bad. So the last thing I'm going to do in this video is install the antenna. Now you might be thinking this doesn't look like an antenna. Well, it actually is. So this is the factory antenna wire for the 86 Silverado. Believe it or not, it actually plugs right into the back of the aftermarket deck, which kind of surprises me. It's kind of nice not needing an adapter. So I'm gonna throw this in right away here. Something that's kind of unique about these trucks is that this is your antenna. It sticks up through the dash here in the middle and it has kind of a snap connector on it. I don't know if you can see that. Like, a, like on a jacket almost, you'd have that same kind of button. This actually clips onto the windshield. There's an antenna in the windshield. It's kind of interesting the way that works. Because back when these trucks were made, AM radio was pretty much standard and I don't think FM was very common. So this doesn't provide as strong of a signal as say a newer vehicle would. So I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough to run an FM signal as well. But it's kind of neat how they're able to run it through the windshield. So that kind of allows you to not have to uh, mount it on any body panel if you're looking for that cleaner look. And also any OEM windshield that you get for these trucks has the antenna in the windshield. Whether they were equipped with radio or not, it has the antenna built in. So you might as well use it if it works. So I'm gonna see how well this works. I'll let you know if it does or doesn't. 
but I'm really hoping it does because that would make things a lot simpler and then you don't have to worry about running a big antenna somewhere. So that's going to conclude today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Glad we got the four inch speakers up in the front. We got the Pioneer deck wired in, somewhat mounted in the bezel there. Also got the antenna done. So now what's left, I gotta do the rear six by nines. I'm gonna build the wall slash box for the two 10 inch shell mount subs. Thinking a 500 watt amp, gonna get that mounted up as well and wire that in. So that's gonna be in the next one. I'm gonna probably do a two part series, might be a three part depending on how long that back wall takes. So that's what's gonna be in the next video. You're not gonna wanna miss that. That's gonna be a good video. So be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn your post notifications on, all that good stuff. And with that, we're going to see you in the next one.